Or there's some days that you wake up and you feel totally unmotivated. You don't feel creative at all. You wonder what your purpose is. And you're still going through the motions of living your day to day. But something just doesn't feel right. We actually have a listener that wrote us a letter who feels exactly that way. And we're going to try and give some words of encouragement to help them do their daily best. Stay tuned. All right, everybody worldwide, you're now tuned into Motivation and Confidence, where we help you do your daily best. And I'm your host, Tom Danger. And this week we have the listener's response. We received an email from a listener. And we're going to say that uh, the initials are YB to respect their uh, confidentiality. Um, but, but I'm going to share with you what this person wrote, and then I'm going to offer my two cents. Okay. And it says, I discovered your podcast today in search of motivation and hope. In my last semester of undergrad, and I'm very unsure of what I want to do with my future. Everyone around me says that's normal. I'm not sure if that's true. Excuse me. She says, I'm sure that's true, but I feel off. I used to be so creative and confident. I would write poems and short stories. I even started a podcast a few months ago, but haven't been inspired to pick it back up. I think part of the problem, I think part of the reason I'm feeling this way is because I feel disconnected from my purpose. On top of that, I feel so indecisive about the path I want to take that I just can't sit down and choose something. I went to a career fair on Friday and it didn't make me feel any better about my options. Honestly, I don't want to work for someone else unless they share the same values and vision that I do, which means I'm probably going to have to make a path of my own. I don't even know where to begin. I guess I'm not really sure what I'm asking for which is usually a big no-no when it comes to emailing strangers. But I do know that tips like meditation, self-love, and believing in myself are important. Some days it just seems like doing anything like that is impossible. I need to figure out how to take control of my life and find purpose. Any guidance? Thanks, YB. Well, first off, thank you for having the courage to send the email and to express how you feel. In reading your email, I honestly understand where you're coming from because I felt that way for a very long time. A lot of times in life, we go through the motions of doing the right thing. And when I say doing the right thing, the right thing in the sense of what everyone else wants us to do what society deems as appropriate, and we never feel full. You know, like you said, you're an undergrad, you're in your last semester, you'd be so creative, you do all these different things, and now you just feel unmotivated. Now, I want to try and answer this as intelligent as I can, so please bear along with me. I'm I'm, I'm sort of going to inject myself in your shoes and then take myself out and offer again my two cents. So I think daily there are moments when we may feel more motivated than others based upon our balance. If we don't feel whole on the inside, we're not going to feel right on the outside. When we take so much of our energy to take care of others and to take care of the things that people deem appropriate, where are we making the time for ourselves to make sure that we're whole? You mentioned a very interesting point about meditation and such. I'm not sure how frequently you do it, but even if it's not meditation, it's just taking the time alone to recognize all of your thoughts and feelings, good, bad, and indifferent. And what you did in this email is very important because you've recognized that something doesn't feel right with you. And that's the first step. Because you recognize something is not right with you, you basically need to recalibrate yourself. 
right? Um, if you're a very creative person, you have to start to look at all the things that are triggers that will get you back in that zone. So you want to surround yourself with other people who are, who are creative. You want to surround yourself with other individuals that are motivated. You want to listen to things that keep you calm and that can help you focus. You have to find things and try a bunch of different things out to see at this moment what you like and what you don't like. And in doing so, slowly over time, you'll see the shift in your energy. I think right now, you know, being that you're in your final semester of school, you're probably drained. You know, you've put in four years, um, you sound as if you're very ambitious and you want to make a change in this world when you talk about your values and such and how you want to align what your core beliefs are in working with another company, in which I'm pretty sure there are companies out there that will align with your beliefs. But if they don't, you've also already told yourself that this may be something that you may need to create. And even in doing so, don't shortchange yourself and think that it's all or nothing. Okay? Find something, again, that you can find a glimpse of joy, a glimpse of fulfillment. Start there. And then with all that additional time that you have over, or even if it's not a lot of time left over, whatever time you have left, devote your time into developing whatever it is that you see as your vision and whatever your core values are. And you have to do it every day. Now, here's the tricky part. What you're working toward may not come as quickly as a four-year degree. It may not come as quickly as just applying for a job and lining up with the company. It may take years. It may take months. But you have to embrace the journey and know that every day when you wake up, you are working toward that vision and that goal that you have set for yourself. This is even with the podcast. We're in our second year already. Um, we're still growing. In my mind, I would have thought that the podcast would have been much further. I thought that I would have been able to leave my current employer and do this full time, but it's not there yet. So because of people like you, I am here today to inspire and hopefully give you some words of encouragement to don't give up. Keep pushing and move forward. This is Motivation and Confidence with your host, Tom Danger, where we help you do your daily best. Thank you for tuning in to Motivation and Confidence, where we help you do your daily best. Like, subscribe, or leave a comment. Check us out on various platforms, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play, Overcast, CastBox, SoundCloud, YouTube, iTunes, TuneIn, or Alexa Media. Motivation and Confidence, Volume 1, How to Start Your Ideas. Tommy Danger, now little man. So we have this concept of a ebook with the soundtrack, right? And I thought it was really cool because motivation and confidence comes from the podcast that we deliver on a weekly basis. Talks about everyday topics in life and how you could basically um, strategize and deal with different challenges that you may have. 